Hello everybody and welcome to another Blackpool Pleasure Beach vlog here on Pleasure Beach Experience YouTube. It is August already, can't believe how quick the year's going. And I'm joined by the one and only Mike. More from Mike later, just thought I'd start the vlog um, on the Pleasure Beach Express because we always start Pleasure Beach vlogs on the Pleasure Beach Express, it just comes with the territory. So today, we're going to do another version, like a second version of a vlog that we did in April, whereby Mike is going to give us a bit of a guide about the restraints at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Big Dipper, while it's above us, uh, that's a lap bar, so you, you're only, nice easy, yeah, your only limitation is the seat divider's quite narrow. Yeah. Um, but us two sit fit in a seat side by side so we're not the smallest between us so uh yeah <laughs> that's I mean, they're pretty big seats infusion i don't fit on it's got tighter over the few years the restraints cover your shoulders here as well as sort of here so if you're tall you may well, well have problems yeah you, if you're tall with infusion you might have problem, or it might, should I say, it'll be uncomfortable. Um, it does have a maximum height limit. Does. Which I think is something like two metres. 195 or two metres. Um, does have a maximum height limit. So if you're really tall, you're just not going on it. Uh, steeple chase is just a seat belt round your waist. So no problems there. Uh, Revolution is the old school arrow, uh, arrow um, corkscrew train. Um, the only thing on that is it does have a seat belt, but even with the seat belt done up on most of the seats, it sits sort of here on me. So it's they're huge. They, they, you're not you, you realistically you're not going to have trouble with um, with Revolution. There is the very odd seat that's a bit tighter. Uh, Nickelodeon Streak is exactly the same as Big Dipper, fine there. Uh, Grand National has individual lap bars on it, but there's no, they don't have to be down, seat basically. Belts. The seat belts, I believe have got a bit shorter. Um, I'm not sure on that one. I didn't have any problem with them though, I could still do it up with plenty of slack, so I don't think it's a, a big, big issue. Um, like I say, it's an individual lap bar, but there's no no limit on how far down it has to come. Again, like Big Dipper, the dividers are a bit of a nuisance, <laughs> but they are as such. Um, what else have we got? Avalanche. Avalanche. <laughs> Avalanche is just a lap bar, so no issues there. I think it has got a sensor on, but it's designed to hold two people. Well, me, so you've been we've on been it. on it, yeah. I'm, I'm, granted, I was a bit slimmer then than I was now, Likewise. but <laughs> yeah, um, we've been on it together. So it wasn't comfortable, like it wasn't pleasant, <laughs> but we have done it. Ice blast. I'm told the as you look at as you're in the queue, you look at the side facing you. The left hand seat is bigger, but I don't know for definite on that I'm told it's bigger um, I've got no gauge on ice blast because it's been some years since I, basically I've not been on it since it had the ratchet restraints put on it so and that was an ODL then <laughs> that was about three years ago so um. well who knew it Mike's just done the whole vlog on the Pleasure Beach Express on the opening of the video now we'll uh, we'll take a closer look at some of the restraints and some of the rides that we've spoken about or that Mike's spoken about when we actually come to doing them because like I said at the start we have only just got to Pleasure Beach it's one o'clock in the afternoon we did oh it's lost me <laughs> there we go I'm coming back I'm back I didn't I didn't expect it to go so dark in that tunnel for filming there we go oh now it's a bit light oh wow okay the ball patch is shining a bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we'll go around from ride to ride, even though Mike's done a bit of a guide, we'll have a closer look at some of the trains as they come out of the stations, as they go around the track, just so Mike can just sort of emphasise a little bit more about the things that he's already covered. 
once we get off Pleasure Beach Express, we'll see where the day takes us. So despite of the weather today, and somewhat surprisingly, the big one is open, even though it's blowing a gale here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And it's not just open, it's open on two trains as well. I honestly cannot remember a time where Pleasure Beach have had the big one open so often, even when the weather's been a little bit naff like it is today with the wind. Years gone by, I have no doubt whatsoever that the big one would have been shut in this wind today. Right, okay, so Skyforce is restraints and how big they are. You can sort of see them behind me, uh, over the shoulder restraint and a seat belt. The seat belts are quite long, but I know that the restraint does have to go in about, uh, I'm not sure exactly how far, but, but there needs to be quite a bit of slack in the seat belt once it's done up for the sensors to be okay with it. One of the seats on this side, on the inside here, is bigger than all the rest. It might be five or seven, I'm not sure. The seat numbers are on the floor. We've decided to go for it, haven't we? We have. We have. We, uh, we're not so sure how the weather's going to hold up. It's forecast to get it's a windier. 50-50, but we're going to give it a go. Yeah, we're going to give it a go. It's probably as, as short as the queue's going to be all day. It's due to get windier and windier and windier, so we might as well give it a shot. The earlier gonna... we do it, the more chance we've got. Exactly and then it gives us a chance to potentially get a shot of the trains as well which can show the restraints which you've been talking about earlier on in the video and i'm walking backwards i'm gonna fall over <laughs> been there well, wasps all over it. No, just a bit just a bit there no wasp right well let's see how we get on with this in the wind My friend, it's the sweet sound of an aerodynamics lift hill that it we can hear above us. A very unique sound of an aerodynamics lift hill. Yes, and it means we've got on it because we're now out of the queue line, having been on a very windy ride on the big one. We were lucky because it had started raining as well. Uh, yeah, we, we dodged the, a, a very nasty lucky rain shower. Yeah. We were quite a very nasty looking one. We were quite lucky actually because it was a bit of a hold up send in the train that we were about to get on which gave the rain chance to sort of come Stop. and go because otherwise we'd have got absolutely soaked. Oh yeah, and well, it would have hurt. It's looking rather dry still is Mike there. So uh, nice to get on it even yeah. if it's struggling a little bit in the wind. It's nice to be open though. Yeah, that's definitely. That's the, we said there'd be many a time in the past it'd be shut. Definitely. But it's open. Right. And yeah, it's struggling a little bit but it, I've it, been on it worse. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it's what we mean by struggling is it's crawling a little bit on, yeah. the, on the return leg. It's not like struggling in terms of, oh, it's definitely not going to make it back. The it's rest just, of the year, it's been like it's, absolutely flying. Yeah, exactly. Whereas now it's just got that little creep, but nothing. It's like I've been on it far worse. I was going to say, do you want to explain the difference between what it's like today compared to... Because obviously we, we're talking about it like, assuming everybody knows what we're yeah. talking about. So for most of this season which has been an unusual season for it um, you generally get a bit of lift a bit of air time the train tends to whip over the top of the hills yeah a little bit today it's just it's not flicking over it just crawls a little not massively it doesn't slow down a lot but you just feel it hold on each hill just that little it's bit it's a bit like when you're trying to load something on the internet it's the difference between buffering and yeah. when it just loads straight away. Yeah. When there's no wind, it loads straight away. If there's wind, it's like it's buffering over the yeah. hills. That's kind of the best way to describe it. If we can get some shots of it in action today where it's sort of gently going over the hills, let's say, compared to how it has been in the nice hot weather we've had lately, I will do. And there it goes again. Worth a mention about how good the ops are today. Yeah, train there, train there. Oh, hold on camera ain't that big. <laughs> hold on, hold on, try again. Train there. So, train, there. train somewhere over there, train somewhere above heading us. towards yeah. 235 feet Which above sea level. Very good operations yeah. modern day. Especially considering that they've got e-tickets and speedy pass to work yeah. with these days. I mean, obviously the wristband scanners were never quick. E-ticket scanning isn't always quick. No. But today, they're just very, very, very quick in the big one station. They're getting the trains out quick. Meant the queue that we were in didn't 
really last very long at all. Was it? No, so... Worth noting that the full station is back in use now. Yes, and... Um, including front row queue. Agreed. And there's no face masks. Well, you can wear one it's if optional. you want to. It's optional now, which is the same pretty much everywhere. Anyway, should we go do something else? Yeah. We're uh, sat in front of Icon, so I'm going to cover the seats and the seat belts on that. Um, I don't know how much you can see the train behind me, um, but it's crawling. <laughs> it's moving slowly. Um, you might notice the back seat is actually empty on one of them, which is handy. Um, over the shoulder lap bar, seat belt buckles in. Uh, now this one, fairly long seat belt. It closes on me just. Um, and then normally the seat has to go in, or the restraint has to go in just a tiny bit once the seat belt's done up for it to be locked, sensors and whatnot. Now each seat is fractionally different, that's back seats obviously, each seat is fractionally different just because of sensor positions, um, you might be sat very slightly different way in the seat or whatever. Um, what the limit is on the front seats, I don't know. <laughs> I've not, I'm, like I say, I've not bothered to, to find out because I know what the answer is on them. Um, but back seats, as long as you're over a metre and a half tall, um, that is the only thing on the Icon seats, is it's one metre 30 front, front um, seats, one metre 50 back seats because the seat is that much wider. The actual seat is huge on the back um, compared to the other ones. Uh, so that's uh, my little guide to Icon. Like I say, I fit on it just. Sometimes needs a bit of a, a bit of a push here and there, but um, I've not had any problems with it since these seats uh, or seats or restraints have been put on. If you're struggling a bit or you think you might be struggling minimum layers as possible or stands to reason um, empty your pockets because your pockets are going to be the biggest thing that stops it closing because it sits right over your um, upper legs anything in your pocket will stop it closing belt buckles I've had that one <laughs> I'll never forget that one on media day where me where my belt wouldn't let it close um, The other thing I find is once you're in the seat, you've got basically arms here, which are the side of the restraint. If you push yourself up slightly on them, your body weight will push the restraint down a little bit further. Um, usually it helps if you just need to get that little bit to get the seatbelt to do up. Um, also, the staff are normally pretty good at having a go at getting it down that bit further it needs to go as well. Um, obviously, if the seatbelt's not going anywhere near closing, probably not worth trying to close it any further because it, it, you won't get on it. Next up, it's going to be the Big Dipper for me and Mike. And if we can, we'll get some shots of the train when we get a little bit closer to the onload point of this ride. Might be difficult though because sometimes it really is go through the scanner and get straight on. But if we can get some shots of the train, to show you what the restraints are like, then we definitely will do. So we've just been on the Big Dipper, and since we've been on it, the queue has got drastically smaller as well. Park is starting to empty now. The weather's uh, still not wet, but it is getting windier and windier as the day goes on. But I just want to say as well, Big Dipper, fantastic as always. It's such a great wooden roller coaster. We are currently in the world's tightest queue line. <laughs> we're in the Covid Secure Grand National queue line, which is why it has these boards up. They were put here, I think, last year when yeah. all the Covid protocols were brought in. 
just want to point out that coming on the Grand National was indeed Mike's idea and awesome. nothing to do with me. I had a good, no, me. I had a really good go on this a couple of weeks ago. I wanted to sort of hold on to that memory for the rest of the season. If I end up dumped on the back row now, I, I'm not going to have a good memory of this again. Okay, so just had a go on the big one. No, we haven't. <laughs> the big one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I retract that comment. I, I apologise profusely to the big one. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a go on the national. Uh, so I mentioned the uh, a little bit about the seats earlier on. Uh, it's a pretty generous seat belt and single lap bar, so no great issues there. I did mention and I stand by it that the divider is a bit of a nuisance it makes the a seat bit. a bit <laughs> yeah it makes the seat a bit tight a bit narrow um, other than that there's no real things with restraints here I say the the seat belt was around me and I had loads of slack in it so no problem and again I wouldn't say it was smooth but it wasn't rough either it was quite reasonably enjoyable I enjoyed it. Um, it's like I say, it's not like it used to be back in the day. I really have been. But I'm not sure whether it will ever be like it was no, back no. in the day. And it's probably slightly rose tinted on that as well. Can't believe I'm saying this. This is the second time I've said this in two weeks. I enjoyed the Grand National. I'm just going to say that again. I enjoyed the Grand National. I can't believe I'm saying it because for the last two years I've hardly ever enjoyed going on it. It's always been like, oh, do we have to go on the Grand National? Well, I did it two weeks ago on the late night riding. It was all right. Was To be honest, I expected it to be absolutely brutal and it was all right. Done it again today and again I was just thinking, you know, probably got lucky on that late night riding. It's going to work. It's, it was all right. I actually enjoyed it. On the late night riding, they did it second from the back. Today, I did it front row, both times different trains. And I'm just surprised that, it, I don't know what's changed. Something feels like it's it just, first drop is, is not smooth at all. The first drop is, there's nothing smooth about that first drop. But the rest of it is all right. Did a video on this during lockdown. I don't, like a lot of people want the Grand National removed and RMC'd and converted and retrapped by GCI and stuff like that. I just think it just needs a little bit of tweaking somewhere. I don't know where, don't, no idea where it needs tweaking, but I just think with some tweaks, Track work, structure, trains, I, I really don't know. I just think with a couple of tweaks, I honestly think it could be one of the best woodies out there again. Right, so uh, we're back on familiar territory. The train. <laughs> right, well, like we, you know, you think we didn't even move from here all day. <laughs> you never know. No, we've, um, yeah, we're coming, coming towards the end of the day now. Or more precisely, I've got to go and play football. <laughs> no, I need to get back because I've got football. Oh, it's raining. Yay! Yay, it's raining. There we go. Yeah, we're coming to the end of the day. Um, we've had a pretty good day here, considering we've not been here that long, have we? No. What, four, five hours? Something like ish. that. Ish. Um, we didn't get here till sort of half, half twelve-ish, so I not a bad day. Um, to be honest, I was shocked the big one opened. I was absolutely avenue. shocked that they even opened it. Let alone that they've had it running on two trains. Let alone that the operations were fantastic on it as well. Got to say that. I um, hope everyone's found the uh, restraints information uh, uh, useful. Uh, there's still a couple of rides for us to cover. We're a bit hampered by the wind today. Um, like, obviously, we just wouldn't have been able to go up on Revolution and film because even with uh, uh, sound uh, assistance, it's still so windy up there. Yeah, good day though. Um, it's nice to get back to Pleasure Beach. Yeah, I've not been here for ages. I, th I actually think the last time I came here was when I did walk the Woody at the start of July. Yeah. I have a feeling that's it, because obviously um, last week I was down south all week. <laughs> um, I didn't come for a couple of weeks before that because I was working with being off on leave. Um, 
I'm sort of coming towards the end of my annual, two weeks annual leave now. So um, yeah, nice to be back, nice to get back on a vlog again, because other than uh, Cabell Creek, I've not been on one for a while. Um, yeah, really good day, really good day. So it really, it probably does look like we've not actually moved all day and we've just sat on the Pleasure Beach Express and do you know what, sometimes I do actually do that when it comes to the Pleasure Beach, we've just come in for a couple of hours, like I'll have a lap on the Pleasure Beach Express which turns into another lap and another lap and another lap after that and then I do the same on the big one and then on Big Dipper and then Icon, then back on this and then go home. So we've been saying about the rain coming all day, the rain has arrived and the camera cover's not on, so I'm gonna keep this very short. Just wanna say, the operations team, at, team here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach have done a cracking job today. It's been windy, it's not been the nicest of weather days. The rides are running on full tilt, they're on full capacity, the queues are moving, there's no stacking on the coasters, the staff seem happy, friendly, and that's just, that's everywhere in the park that we've been, whether it's been into catering places, on the rides, in retail, so big up to all the staff, you do a great job here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, your hard work is always appreciated by Pleasure Beach Experience. Maintenance team as well, these, they keep these excellent rides running here for us at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. If it wasn't for the maintenance guys, these rides wouldn't be able to run. Thank you to everyone that keeps this great place going, thank you for a good day. I was going to talk more, but I don't want to ruin the camera because of the rain, so many thanks for watching. I know I was going to do some shout outs, I promised them on late night riding, they will come in another vlog soon, I promise. But for now, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next, hopefully dry, Pleasure Beach Experience video.